Okay, so we are done with the coconut husking for today. Maybe. Yeah. We sent a lot of the husk in the water and now it's time to send a proper one. So a tiny little sail and we'll say goodbye coconut! Yay! Yeah. Don't sing! Don't sing! <laughs> it's cracking down! <laughs> A few weeks have gone by here on our end. We've been pretty busy. Um, I just want to share a bit of what's been going on on board. <laughs> Too much weight. Wrong bearing. <laughs> have you ever tried making your own coconut oil? In fact, do you even know how coconut oil is made? Daphne and Marquetta went on the adventure of making their own coconut oil. They ventured into the jungle at 7.30 in the morning and battled the no-seams and the cacti and the uneven growth and everything out there that was trying to get at them and made their way back to the boat with about 30 coconuts. Step one of making coconut oil is finding the coconuts. Step two of making the coconut oil is to start husking the coconut, which is done with a machete and your hand. We need at least 10, 15 of those, and unfortunately most of these are rotten or bad and smell like cheese or feet, and, <laughs> and we don't want those. Step three of making the coconut oil is to cut them open with a machete. Ah! Oh, it's so good. Nice! <laughs> Yes. And then step four of making the coconut oil is to get all the meat out with a coconut grinder. Step five of the coconut oil process is to take the coconut meat that you've acquired, put it into a bucket, fill the bucket with boiling hot water and then let it cool down where you can just touch it. Take your meat and squeeze it to death and then discard the meat into another bucket and then you put your milk to the side and then repeat the process two more times with the meat that you've put on the side. Then you take all the liquid, put it together into one bucket and let it sit overnight. Step six and the final step is to take the cream that has risen to the surface overnight and put it in a small pot, let the cream melt, and then it will go from clear to brown and the coconut solids will rise up to the surface. At that point, you just need to strain it and you've got coconut oil. So, with their 30 coconuts, and their husking, and the grinding, and the pressing, and all of that, we ended up with half a cup of coconut oil. Otherwise, in the culinary, and the crew world, and the general life things, we celebrated Travis's birthday. So, happy birthday, Travis. A little late, I know. Um, but, thank you for being born, so we could all enjoy some chocolate cake. <laughs> yeah! 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 As well in the culinary world, we've had some wonderful meals and romantic dinners amongst ourselves. <laughs> um, Aurora prepared us one night these wonderful lobster raviolis. They were huge and delicious. Raviolis, look at these delicious raviolis. Yum. Oh yeah, we actually have tomatoes growing on board now. So, fresh tomatoes from our garden. They seem to somehow be thriving in the marine environment. I don't know, they get a lot of sun. We had an unexpected dinner guest of our uh, transmission at the table for this romantic dinner. Um, Daphne went off to Panama, so thank you Daphne for sharing your lovely music, your ukulele, your artistic side. your energy, everything with all of us. Hello, Vieques! And we miss you. We wish you the best with your diving adventures. She is off to dive in the Pacific, and it sounds rad. 
So maybe we'll see you somewhere down the line, but otherwise we wish you the best. That's just sharing a bit of what's been up here. We have lots more coming with the parents' visits, uh, big projects, and now we're just really gonna be working for the next few weeks. That's it, so bye, and until the next one. Good job. Wow. You're Thank all you. here. It's nice, it's nice. <laughs> Very nice.